Hey there, tech explorers. Today we're diving into the world of ethical hacking with a tool called Hydra. Now Hydra might sound scary, like a mythical multi-headed beast, and that's because it kind of is. But don't worry, we're the good guys here, using this knowledge for good, not evil. Hydra is a powerful password cracker that helps security professionals like yours truly find weaknesses in systems. It's like trying a bunch of keys on a door until you find the one that unlocks it. Except in this case, the keys are passwords and the door is your online account. Think of Hydra as a tireless robot that tries different password combinations really, really fast. By simulating these attacks, we can see if our passwords are strong enough and learn how to protect ourselves better. So buckle up, grab your metaphorical hacking gear, and let's tame this beast together. All right, first things first, we need to get Hydra on our computers. Hydra is a powerful tool used for network security testing, and it's essential for anyone looking to dive into the world of ethical hacking. Don't worry, this isn't some shady back alley deal. Hydra is open source, which means it's free to use and modify. Open source software is developed by a community of programmers who believe in making tools accessible to everyone. Kind of like building your own custom PC, but for hacking tools. You get to see the inner workings and even tweak them to suit your needs. The easiest way to get Hydra is by installing Kali Linux. Kali Linux is a specialized operating system designed for cybersecurity professionals and ethical hackers. Think of Kali Linux as a special operating system made for cybersecurity professionals. It's packed with a plethora of tools that make security testing a breeze. It comes pre-loaded with a bunch of cool tools, including Hydra. This means you don't have to go through the hassle of downloading and installing each tool individually. You can download Kali Linux from their official website and install it on a virtual machine. A virtual machine allows you to run an operating system within your existing system, creating a safe environment for testing. A virtual machine is like having a computer inside your computer, so it won't mess with your main operating system. This is particularly useful for testing and experimenting without risking your primary setup. Once you have Kali Linux up and running, open up the terminal. The terminal is a powerful tool that allows you to interact with your computer using text commands. The terminal is like the command center of your computer where you can type in commands to make things happen. It might seem intimidating at first, but with a little practice, you'll get the hang of it. To install Hydra, simply type in sudo apt-get install Hydra. This command tells your system to fetch and install Hydra from the software repositories. Hit enter, let it do its thing, and boom. The installation process will take a few moments and once it's done, you'll have Hydra ready to go. You're now the proud owner of a digital Hydra. With Hydra installed, you're one step closer to mastering the art of ethical hacking. So get ready to explore and learn. Now that we've got Hydra installed, let's learn how to talk to it. Hydra is a powerful tool, but to harness its full potential, you need to understand the basic commands that drive it. Just like learning a new language, mastering these commands will open up a world of possibilities. Hydra uses commands to tell it what to do. These commands are the building blocks of your interactions with Hydra, and they allow you to specify exactly what you want to achieve. Think of it like giving instructions to a very obedient but slightly clueless robot. You need to be precise and clear, otherwise Hydra might not understand what you want it to do. The basic syntax of a Hydra command is pretty straightforward. Hydra, target, options. This structure helps you organize your commands in a logical way, making it easier to remember and use them effectively. The target is what you're trying to attack, like a website or a server. This is the primary focus of your command and it tells Hydra where to direct its efforts. The options are like special instructions you give to Hydra, like what kind of attack to use or how many passwords to try at once. These options allow you to customize your command to fit the specific needs of your task. Some of the most common Hydra options include, these options are essential tools in your Hydra toolkit, and knowing how to use them will make your commands more effective. L. Username. This tells Hydra to use a specific username for the attack. It's a simple yet powerful option that allows you to target a specific user account. L. Username file. If you have a list of usernames, you can put them in a file and use this option to tell Hydra to try each one. This is particularly useful for attacks that require testing multiple user accounts. P. Password. Similar to the username option, this lets you specify a single password to try. It's a straightforward way to test a known password against a target. P. Password file. 
This is where the real fun begins. You can use this option to feed Hydra a whole list of passwords from a file like a dictionary attack. This method is highly effective for testing a large number of potential passwords quickly. T. Tasks. This option controls how many passwords Hydra tries at the same time. The more tasks you run, the faster the attack, but it can also put more strain on the target system. Balancing the number of tasks is crucial for optimizing your attack's efficiency without overwhelming the target. Understanding these basic commands is the first step in mastering Hydra. As you become more familiar with these options, you'll be able to craft more complex and effective commands. Practice using these commands in a safe and controlled environment to build your skills and confidence. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Always use Hydra ethically and within the bounds of the law. Unauthorized use of Hydra can have serious legal consequences. Use this tool to enhance your understanding of cybersecurity and to help protect systems from malicious attacks. In the next chapter we'll dive deeper into advanced Hydra commands and techniques. Stay tuned to continue your journey in mastering this powerful tool. Happy hacking! Section 4. One shot, one kill, single username password attacks. Let's start with a simple example. Trying to guess a single username and password combination. This is like trying to pick a lock with only one key. It might work if you're lucky, but it's not very efficient. Let's say we want to see if our friend Bob is using a weak password for his FTP server. Bob's not very tech savvy so we suspect he might be using password 123 as his password. The Hydra command for this attack would be Hydra L Bob P password 123 FTP dash slash slash Bob's FTP dot com. This tells Hydra to use the username Bob the password password 123 and attack the FTP server at Bob's FTP dot com. If Bob is indeed using that weak password, Hydra will crack it in a matter of seconds and proudly display its victory on the terminal. However, if Bob has chosen a stronger password, the attack will fail. Section 5. Spray and Pray. The Password Spraying Technique. Password spraying is a bit more sophisticated than brute forcing a single password. Instead of focusing on one account and trying numerous passwords, it targets multiple accounts with a few common passwords. It's like trying a few common keys on a bunch of different doors to see if any of them open. Imagine walking down a hallway with a ring of keys, testing each one on every door you pass. The idea behind password spraying is to use a small list of very common passwords like password 123456 or let mine and try them against a larger list of usernames. These passwords are chosen because they are frequently used by many people. This technique relies on the fact that many people reuse the same weak passwords across multiple accounts. Despite numerous warnings about password security, it's still common for users to choose convenience over security. To perform a password spraying attack with Hydra, we'll need two things, a list of usernames and our small list of common passwords. The usernames can be gathered from various sources such as company directories, social media profiles, or even previous data breaches. Let's say we want to target the email accounts of a company called Example Corp. This company has hundreds of employees making it a prime target for a password spraying attack. We can use a tool like CWL to scrape their website for employee names and create a list of potential usernames. CWL is a custom word list generator that spiders a given URL to a specified depth and returns a list of words that can be used for password cracking. Then, we can create a simple text file with a few common passwords. This file will serve as our dictionary for the attack. The more common the passwords, the higher the chances of success. The Hydra command for this attack would look something like this. Hydra L usernames dot txt p common underscore passwords dot txt t30 smtp dot example corp dot com smtp. Hydra is a powerful tool that can perform rapid dictionary attacks against various protocols. This tells Hydra to use the usernames from the usernames dot txt file, try the passwords from the common underscore passwords dot txt file, and attack the SMTP server at smtp.examplecorp.com with 30 simultaneous tasks. By running multiple tasks at once, Hydra can quickly test many combinations, increasing the likelihood of finding a match. If successful, the attacker gains access to the email accounts potentially compromising sensitive information. This is why it's crucial for organizations to enforce strong password policies and implement multi-factor authentication to protect against such attacks.
regularly updating passwords, educating employees about security best practices, and monitoring for unusual login attempts can also help mitigate the risks associated with password spraying. Remember, security is a continuous process and staying vigilant is key to protecting valuable data.